One of the nice things about our machine is the ability to retain trash. Retaining trash gives you many advantages. In many cases, with a towing machine, you have to burn off the stubble. Instead of burning it off, you keep the nutrients, which will eventually get back into the soil to give you better soil structure, many advantages. Also, it protects the ground, stops it drying out. You also reduce the ground speed of water and wind at ground level. You reduce wind blast and erosion due to flooding. Because we have the ability to get through stubble, large volumes, it probably doesn't matter what height it is. When you're harvesting, you can now cut just below the head, just below where the money is. You don't need to cut down a foot or two foot. You don't need to stop to start trash handling at harvest. You cut just below the head, it's a lot more efficient. You can go faster, less wear on your harvesting equipment. The farmers say it best. And in this instance, Michael O'Brien from Quambone introduces us to his crop he has established in large volumes of stubble. Yeah, yeah, in the afternoons you'd be looking around prior to sowing, there'd be fire there and fire there. And, and for a number of years there was no fires. Mm. Yeah, but with the, the trash, yeah, it just changed. And I think they were making it harder for themselves to get their crops to germinate, as it turned out. However, I think the disc planter saved moisture. Yeah, this was an incredible crop. This was uh, a lupin crop that was uh, up to six foot high and six weeks prior to harvest we had an inch of rain and a wind that blew it all over and it ended up only two foot high. So there was just a jungle of mess and uh, we were able to sow right through it without any problem whatsoever. It was very exciting to get through it. The Tobin disc planter sailed through it, no problems at all. Yeah, well it was a very thick crop, this uh, looping crop. We only ended up uh, harvesting a a nine bag crop, but it would have uh, probably done um, uh, 14, 18 bags, but uh, a lot of it just fell over. And there's still seed here on the ground. No hair pinning whatsoever. Yeah, and it must be the uh, action of the disc uh, traveling uh, both off vertically and, and off horizontally a little bit, which uh, helps it rotate without pulling any stubble into the slit. Yeah, it did a fantastic job. No hairpinning whatsoever. We had volumes of stubble, even big piles of stubble that were sort of washed through stormwater. Um, we had no troubles getting through them. Just everything was just carefree. Um, you'd look behind to see if it was going through and after a while you didn't worry about it. You knew it was going to go through it. And seed placement was good and the speed, like we've just probably effectively, we've doubled our efficiency at sowing time just with the speed and every type of stubble, the run of the mill ones, canola stubble, we had no trouble with, lupin stubble, heavy wheat stubbles, like anywhere between four and five tonne to the hectare wheat stubbles, two and a half to three tonne to the hectare canola stubbles, just nothing was really a challenge for it at all. It didn't seem to matter what we threw at it. We didn't have any problems over the whole season at all with pinning, just no problems. Pinning just wasn't an issue at all. We never, never came across that anywhere. And we sowed into some very heavy stubbles, like I said, five and a half to sort of four tonne to the hectare stubbles. I think a lot of the farming systems now do retain stubble and the vast majority of it. A little bit of burning of windrows which will probably still continue under the canola crops around the countryside just to help with weed control. But definite advantages of keeping tall standing stubble just to keep cover on the ground and reduce evaporation through the following season. Just showing you here um, where we've done inter-row sowing and you can see the uh, stubble that's been left behind. We've sown into row on 12 inch spacings. Certainly good crop protection when the crop is uh, coming up. And also really good for moisture retention. And that is one of the big advantages with the disc is able to handle these high stubble loads on the better years. Retaining the moisture on a year like this when it's coming very dry. Yeah, oh, the trash hasn't been an issue at all with them. It just slices straight through, so it's, it's been very good. And obviously harvest is becoming a big issue now. There's just, everyone sows the crops at the exact same time across the whole east coast of Australia, and there's not enough headers to do the job. So we all seem to lose a lot of crop. Whereas in the 80s and 90s, there was a much larger spread on the harvest. It was probably a four month spread now. It's more like a six to seven week spread. So I don't know how we're gonna solve that problem with headers been half a million dollars each, but we've got to solve that problem eventually. 
Another point, I suppose, with the um, harvest side of things, this year coming up, we don't have to actually go down so low. We were cutting the straw off at about a foot before and trying to spread it so that we could get through it with the time machine the next year. So, yeah, we'll, this year we'll be able to just take the heads and get harvest off a lot quicker. I suppose uh, on the way of summer weed spraying, mm, we had some areas in melons where there was very low numbers, you know, possibly only three or four plants per hectare, which with a time machine would uh, certainly block it up, which you'd have to spray. This year we decided not to do that, just with very low numbers. Obviously if there's high numbers, we have to conserve the moisture and spray it out, but uh, in those out, areas yeah. with uh, the cost of chemical going where it is now, that we actually made good savings in that area that we were able to get through sort of melon areas with certainly low numbers, but there was a cost saving there for sure. Yeah, Melamella's a native um, plant here. It um, blocks a bar up, even a six row bar, it'll block that up pretty severely. And especially you've got a bit of stubble on the paddock, it's just a mess. So that, that plant will grow oh, probably up three foot if you get good summer rains. And this just chews it up like it does with any sort of vine. Well, that's not a vine, but it'll, it'll just, vines aren't a problem anymore either. The trash clearance is, is a big plus with the machine.